what is your position on the observation that only those who are rich have access to quality education, while those who are poor, especially those living in the rural areas, are getting low in quality education or sometimes no education at all? And number two, what is your view on what appears to be an educational system whose major goal seems to apply the labor requirement of foreign countries? Thank you very much. Uh, this is a uh, textbook question, uh, Dr. Patilia. Patilia. Uh, I think it looks like to say that there are three aspects to the total education question which have to be taken together to answer your two questions. Uh, the first one is connected to the infrastructure that supports the whole educational process, the number of teachers, the number of schools, the outreach up to the barangay level and all of this. That's one. And we can spend a long time discussing all the limitations of that and the possibilities. The other one uh, is a question that you brought out, uh, the actual quality of education. Here we will have to define what quality is, and I will I will take up this question more later. And then the third one is the social justice that involves both the, the, the infrastructure support as well as the quality of education. Now, the quality of education is connected, I think, education comes from the word educo educere, which means to say to draw out the full human potential. Now, modern educational science has shown that there are 11 intelligences that the human being has. Those 11 intelligences, among them are included IQ, which is only two intelligence. The logical, mathematical, and the linguistic. There are nine others, including existential intelligence, naturalistic intelligence. Existential, by the way, is the intelligence that gives you meaning, moral intelligence, and all of this. This is totally neglected in mainstream education. So if you want equitable access, we're asking the question, to what kind of quality education do we want equitable access to? We have to refrain because the modern education is basically based on a 19th century model that's totally outdated and does not prepare us for education in the 21st century. The global economy is moving to a knowledge economy. Robotics, artificial intelligence, are going to mechanize IQ-related capacities. So if you're a lawyer, you're a medical doctor, accountant, IQ-based, this is going to be mechanized in the next 10 to 15 years. So if you don't prepare for creativity and all of this other stuff that goes to make us full human beings that are worthy and have dignity, to really have a better future, then we're not going to be preparing ourselves. We're going to be continuing on a path that we are basically going to become the marginalized of the world. Thank you.